Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Shadow of Mordor. So, we've got a couple of orc- jeez, oh, that's a fair amount of orcs. Wow. This works for me. How did he even notice me there? Come on. Come on. Nope. Well. Luckily, they're just the basic type of orcs. I was hoping I could do my usual stealth kill nonsense, but it didn't seem to have worked. Oh well, that works too. Well, they're all dead. And now we can do this mission. So, this one's about ghouls. It's called Nameless Things. When night fell, his troops were being taken by the ghouls. Alone, he descended in the foulest cave and slew every beast, including their matron. Forged the legend of Sword Urufel. Bunch of Muriel. Might actually have a number of skill points as a result of all of this. I'm hoping so. I'm, uh, I'm a bit anemic as far as all of my skill abilities. Anyway. Kill ten ghouls with a single wraith flash. That seems doable. Sup, ghouls? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, wraith flash time. Bonus objective done. And, nice thing about ghouls can be killed with a singular dagger. So if you're really lazy, you could actually just uh, dagger the crap out of them until it's. Uh, you know, time for everything else. The other part is... Uh-oh. Oh, interesting. I am poisoned. That's problematic. Okay. So, I have to watch out for the spitters, I guess. I'm trying to... Nope. Some of them are hitting me enough to kill my counter. Then again, they're also dead. That's a thing, too. So, we've got mushrooms. And it looks like these mushrooms... Okay, can be collected. And give us experience? Or at the very least, health. So, the other reason why I'm in this cave is I figured there's an artifact here. Not entirely sure how a uh, single arrow can bust up the wall, but it worked. And what do we get? 50 Muriel and a pickaxe. Uruk refer to mining as working the black seam as they extract iron and adamant from the earth to fuel their war machine. They are adept ma miners, and oftentimes use steel pickaxes such as this one to extract ore. Now, however, the pickaxes are in the hands of slaves, as the Uruks serve as overseers. Kind of curious what happened to that dude. Be great if it actually there was another artifact These that actually is doomed. No, they are merely going to die. It is we that are doomed. Okay, another ghoul nest. They're pissed off. I'm hoping I can get a fully charged wraith flash by the time they all show up. Looks like it did. Be great if I murdered them all. Oh, and I got poisoned. Of course I got poisoned. Well, in the end, I really don't need to... Oh. Gotta kill the ghoul matron, apparently. How scary is she? She looks scary. Ah, that's poison. Okay, ghoul matrons are the most challenging of their breed. They will strike back, so dodge with A quickly. Oh, that's... That's problematic. And I stunned her. Ow. I'm... I'm trying to... I'm trying to, but poison and whatnot makes it hard. There we go. Oh, that was convenient. I'm trying to dodge over here. Unfortunately, all the ghouls just kind of get in the way. I'm going to go over here for a second, and... Okay, jeez, that's a nigh on infinite number of ghouls. I'm, I'm dodging over her. Freaking ghouls. So, pretty much looks like all I can do is that dodge over. I'm trying to do... I'm trying to do a, a finisher. 
There we go. Can can I finish her that way? Nope. She is tough. That's a concern. At least we can roll over her to more or less infinitely stun. Sort of. It doesn't exactly end up working that way. But close enough. Uh-oh. What? I stunned her. I guess she's not as affected by rape type moves. Okay, well. Jeez, they are. They are infinite. I'm gonna need a Wraith Flash. There we go. And dodge over. Keep walloping. I'd love to hit her with other stuff. Or, let's get over here. No, no, what? No, no. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. We are in a shitty position, have to admit. Oh, shoot! There's nothing here. Well, keep ro keep rolling, Talion. Keep rolling. What I need to do is get over this. No! Freaking! I get a little bit of health left at the very least. But this sucks. Oh, that's poison. Actually, for all of that, we get a fair amount of health left. Yep. Oh, this is rough. I'm trying to get to this mushroom, but I just don't think we're going to get the chance. Instead, we're just going to get infinitely walloped by freaking ghouls. There we go. Okay. I'm trying to dodge over her. I'm also trying to do my stun combo, but it doesn't look like it works on ghouls. Very frustrating. I am very close to death. Come on. There we go. Woo! Scary! Okay, well... We made it, though. More ghouls. Fucking great. Grab it, Talion. You slow little man. And there are more ghouls. There are always more ghouls. Why wouldn't there be more ghouls? Hello, more ghouls! And I'm not... That'd actually be kind of a cool name for them. More ghouls instead of just ghouls. Oh, well, let's get up here. Oh, these are not ghouls! I'm actually kind of okay with this. Because you know what? Orcs? After that crazed swarm that we just had to fight off, orcs end up being sensible. Oh. Okay, we got one more orc over there, and we got some mushrooms. I'm surprised you forgot about me that quickly. Well... That's what he gets for letting his guard down. My hand hurts a little bit. I've been playing too much of this game. Seeing as we're here, let's uh, gather some mushrooms. And then never come back. If at all possible. The ghoul matrons kind of suck. Largely because they have the... Uh, they're thus far not counterable. Wait, who, what? Are these slaves? Oh, these are like outcasts. They're hiding in here. What? The crap just happened. I think I hooked on his leg and then sent him flying. Weird. Well, anyway. Let's get in here. Oh, those must be the slaves we saved earlier. Sup, dudes? Looks like we got one shield guy, a couple of others, but, uh... Ow. Come on. Before the other guy. Yep. There we go. Turbo murder. Ow. Seriously. Uh, after all of the stress of the ghoul mission, my arm hurts a little bit. That's always kind of an interesting thing. Oh, more ghouls. That's not a problem. There's always infinite daggers. So, a bit of a short episode, but... Eh, let's do one more. What do we got around? Ah, we got a dagger mission. The Wraith. Let's do it. I'm a bit far away, but I can make it. And we do have another stronghold, but this is... Oh, whoops. 
Well, let's take him out before things go south. Because they're distracted by the ghouls, which I appreciate. But I would appreciate more uh, not having to uh, deal with the shield man, because shield mans suck. And we got more ghouls. I'm just gonna huck a couple of knives and then get out of the way because they've got uh, actual shield orcs. And I'm lazy. I don't like fighting shield orcs that much. Let's just get over to this mission area. What do we got? It's a dagger mission, whatever those are. The Wraith. Hit amongst the Dark Lord soldiers, silently killing them one by one. You could not rest until they flood the camp in terror. What? I guess I walked too far or waited too long. Anyway, accept mission. So, we have... Kill orcs, strike from above. Can I, can I climb here? Nope, can't climb here. Well, that, that works fine for me. Now, I need to make sure that I actually stealth kill three guy, or... Uh-oh. Hmm. That complicates things a little bit. In that case, I'm gonna drop down. I don't see any orcs on the ground level here. Which is good. Because what I need to do is get up this structure here. Which should give me the ability to climb up. Because I want to get to that archer more than anything. Because he is going to be the guy that spots me and, you know, will prevent me from doing my uh, persistent stealth killing. Oh, jeez, he's in an awkward spot. Probably could have just done the... Uh... Come on. Uh-oh. 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 Alright, I might not get the bonus ability from this. Come on. Come on. Get him out of the picture. Okay, so what I'm going to, going to do is... Um, figure out how to get up to that archer in a convenient fashion. There aren't many ways. So what I can do... Is go up. Perfect. Okay. There's the archer that we were a little bit worried about. Now, I just need him to get a little bit closer. What? Oh. Okay, can, can I not? I guess I have to abandon it. So I can't get detected. Oh. Well, that's obnoxious. I, I hid behind the thing, but I guess it was not fast enough. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Okay. Well, with luck, the archer will not come back. Looks like he didn't. Okay. Oh, yeah. Still kill a bunch of Uruks without getting detected. Go figure. So, you know what? I'm just gonna be a little bit lazy here. Actually, this works. Because I can stealth kill these guys. And then do the attract and other stuff. This should work. Because there's one, and they just never notice you when you're doing this. Works for me. Because this way, then, we can have this entire upper platform to murder everybody. Hello! Okay. And we've got, we've got that orc group over there. The other thing I could do is potentially explode some bonfires, which may work as well. Or we got bees. Okay. So they're spreading out a little bit. So what I think I'm going to do is just kill them all. Oh, that's that's a lieutenant down there. Okay. So who are you? Combat finishers? Nope. Oh. Can I 
Yep, I can do it. He did not last long. I didn't even realize there was a lieutenant there. Well, that works, and I'm glad I had foreknowledge of him. Somehow. Oh, let's pick up the intelligence while we're here. Looks like we also have more intelligence, or not intelligence, the item. Now let's get the intelligence. Okay. A lot of orcs I don't know about, so I'm actually going to go with the more powerful ones in the back. Ogthrak the Beheader. Nice little head. Determined to fulfill his duties and grow his power. Oh, well, that's basic. And, oh, can be stealth killed. Good to know. Let's actually get up. I think it's up. And there's an artifact right over here. Yes, right in the middle of a side mission. Whatever. Eh, no big deal. Not like anybody's going to notice me doing this. Horned Helmet. Someone was once used by the outcasts of Udin for secret rituals. The horns and the leather were taken from the wild kine of Ara, hunted far from Mordor in the fields of Rhun. It dates from a distant time when these men were prisoners of Gondor, made to toil on the construction of the Towers of the Teeth. Even now, the outcasts remain mistrustful of those wearing metal armor. This helmet is a reminder of dark times past, a harbinger of darkness and darker times to come, and a symbol of the outcast's determination to never again live under the yoke of slavery. That was a long one. Where's that memory point? Probably in there? No? Here we go. You've led me into your homes. You've led me into your lives. And now you bestow upon me your greatest honor. Though I come from the Black Gate, though I was once known to you as the enemy, I turn my back on Gondor. Outcasts, as you've been named, are people of honor, people of strength. I have found love within your tribe, but for your tribe as well. And you have taught me of a life I thirsted for, but never knew existed. Now it is my time to teach you. I will impart to you all my knowledge of war. And the orcs push us, but we will find strength and push back. And this land will be ours. All right, let's go back to stealth killing people. Unfortunately, I'm gonna essentially need to we stealth could have kill. each other. Maybe Hirgon would not have needed to desert us. Maybe together we would have been ready when Sauron returned. Even without the fell influence of the Dark Lord, mankind shall never know the end of war. Okay. Now we got another tower over there. I'm trying to figure out. Unfortunately, this specific this specific uh, stronghold doesn't have a whole lot of like verticality to it and I can't be detected here which does complicate things pretty substantially do I have anything low no but I do have stuff high hmm or we have one orc over there up high and everything else is low I think looks nope we got two Good thing I did not try and go, go out there. So we've got them, we've got bees, we've got caragors. We've got archers. We've got somebody up, back up here, interestingly enough. Well, you know what? I'm, I think I'm going to largely give up... Oh, hello. I think I'm going to give up on the... Uh, bonus objective, maybe? Unless we have more orcs spawning, at which point we'll be okay. I think I think I might actually be able to get it. Just by uh, waiting for the orcs to respawn, hilariously enough. So in that case, we just need to find a dumbass Uruk to uh, come say hi to us. Bit of a long shot, but let's see if I can get that nest to summon some Uryx this direction. Because if they run away, they run away, and if they don't run away, they don't run away. I just need one guy to come by. What's that over there? Bait. No, that doesn't seem to have worked. We've got somebody pointed in our direction. Oh, oh, we do. Oh, but he's, he's freaking out. Alright. 
Well, you know what we can do? Not exactly the, uh... Oh, hey, let's collect more elf shot, because we're out. Oh, we do have a loose Karagor. Can I... Stealth kill him! There we go! We got it! Yay! And the bonus objective. Unfortunately, we got a Karagor. And I don't like fighting Karagor, so I'm just gonna leave. But it worked! Uh, he's apparently afraid of Karagors. I don't... Wait. Aha! I don't even know who he is. Flak Falspawn. Oh, he died. And we get a thing. Whatever the thing is. Huh. More focus from Stealth Kill. Good to know. And we've cleared out the area. And we have uh, a war chief and artifacts. And Car Holy crap! Karagors can jump! Can I not leap over Karagors? I- Oh, 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 oh. This is bad. <laughs> the Karagors can jump. The, Kar the Karagors can jump up here. Let's collect Elf Shot. And then GTFO somehow. Aha! There's our escape plan. Sup, dude? I'm now safe from the Karagors. I do not like Karagors. <laughs> At least not until I get the uh, ability to... You know... I'm gonna Shadow Strike him, and we're going to grab him, and drain him, and then shank him. And then this episode is already over, so I'll actually see you guys on the next episode of Shadow of Mordor, where we will continue uh, pretty much taking on this area. We've got two white side quests, an artifact, two Ithil doors, uh, two artifacts, two Ithil doors, and a war chief to go after, so it's gonna be quite quite a fair uh, while before we clear this area out, but that's the fun of it. So, see you guys then, and as always, thanks for watching.